logging in at admin or expert level opens additional features for the more experienced system technician. When logged in, the mode is displayed in the bottom right of the window. SIGGEN appears on the toolbar and clicking opens a signal generator window which can be used to route a noise signal to the inputs. The window allows you to assign the generator to each input individually. Type allows you to select either white or pink noise. The level fader allows you to set the generator output level. This can be drag and drop to select a level or exact levels can be typed into the level box followed by enter. When opened the generator always defaults to off, bypassed. Click on the bypass button to turn the generator on. The SIGGEN text on the toolbar turns red to show that the generator is active which is useful as the generator will still run with the generator window closed. In basic mode the meters in the gains and mute tab are before gain for the input meters and after process for the outputs. Expert and admin mode gives you the option to change the meters to the other points in the signal chain that are displayed in the input and output tabs. So for the inputs you can select before gain or after EQ and for the outputs either before gain, before limiter or after process. Admin and expert modes open a number of extra features for the EQ display in the inputs A and B. The zoom function allows you to adjust the vertical scale of the graph, useful for zooming in for a better view of subtle EQ adjustments. Shift allows you to shift the vertical scale up or down, useful if you have applied a lot of either cut or boost and want to shift the vertical position of the graph for a better view. Adjustments to zoom and shift can be instantly restored to default by clicking reset. External IR gives the option to import an external IR filter file. An external IR window opens with a load icon. The magnitude and phase of the external file is displayed. This will then be summed with any EQ that you have applied using the internal EQ. The external IR can be turned off or on independently of the internal EQ. View opens a floating EQ window which allows you to view the frequency response curves of any of the inputs or outputs simultaneously. These are colour coded so it is easy to identify each channel. Colour codes are as follows. Input A is red. Input B is blue. Output 1 is teal. Output 2 is green. Output 3 is dark blue. Output 4 orange. Output 5 pink and output 6 is beige. The MAGN button allows you to switch the response graph between magnitude, which is the default, to phase, showing the phase response of the EQ. In admin mode, the output tabs also have some additional features. The EQ graphic display has identical features to the input tabs, so zoom, shift, reset, external IR, off, view and magnitude are all available. The EQ section has the option to import an FIR EQ file, which once loaded can be bypassed independently if required. The box at the bottom of the FIR section displays the latency that the FIR has added. The channel preset section will also have an additional as locked box in admin mode. This gives you the option of creating your own channel presets that are locked, so crossover, EQ and limiter parameters cannot be changed. Gain and delay are also stored in output presets, but these are not locked as it is likely that they will need to be fine-tuned.